What is going on, everybody? I hope you are doing well. I wanted to jump on live here because I wanted to talk about the vintage shoe haul that I can't, that I was able to get, and I want to more specifically talk about the shoes that I found in this unit because I've held the shoes kind of for last. Uh, as I'm going through this unit, I'm kind of getting down to the end of the clothing and um, I'm going through a lot of the shoes. I've accounted for 209 shoes so far. There's probably plus or minus a little bit more or less than that. Um, and I kind of just want to talk about how I go about uh, selling these shoes. What is my strategy? What am I going to do? How do I test to see if they have dry rot, cracks, or if they're still, um, you know, how I'm going to list them. So I wanted to deep dive that and I wanted to go over some of the sales um, that I have been getting with these shoes and uh, kind of the strategy moving forward after um, these storage units are going to be done and kind of what I'm going to do for sourcing um, from here on out. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're having a blessed weekend. Um, so yeah, so like the issues that I wanted to talk about and the things I've had to overcome um, with this storage unit buyout is, um, you know, just for example, like a lot of these Airwalk shoes, you know, they, they, they look nice, right? But, but then look here, it's like dry rot. So, so you really need to be careful um, listing, and my hands are all sticky, um, need to be very careful listing these um, shoes because they sat in a storage unit, in, in an indoor storage unit for 20 years. So a lot of the shoes um, are hit and miss, whether they, they look nice from the outside, but like the moment you pick them up, they just crumble into pieces. So it actually is a really good um, test of quality. Um, you know, the shoes like the Adidas and the Merrells um, and a lot of the um, like the Asics, there's a lot of Asics in there. Um, they held up really well and did, um, you know, did the bend test on a lot of the soles and, um, you know, they turned out great and I was able to list them. But I'm not going to be listing any shoes that I don't test, right, because I don't want to get any returns on eBay. So kind of going through that, it was just kind of taking a little more time to test out how they were and, and, you know, whether they had dry rot or not. So I wanted to jump into our sales because I wanted to show you kind of what, are, what are these shoes selling for? You know, um, there are some running shoes. There are some hiking boots. There are some dress boots. They are all men's shoes. Um, all of these items in the storage unit hall from a couple months ago were men's, men's clothing, men's shoes, men's suits. So I just wanted to jump in and show some of the sales um, that we've been getting. Um, and, you know, nothing crazy, no $500 pair of shoes, not even any like $300 pair, uh, dollar pair of shoes, but just bread and butter, nice sales coming in with the shoes. Um, you know, right here um, lately, just sold these Cole Haan shoes, um, simple uh, booties, $78 uh, with shipping. So, um you know, it, the nice part about this is like no cleaning. The, that, that's kind of the hard part is when as a used clothing reseller, you know, I don't really want to spend a lot of the time cleaning the shoes. I'd rather pay a little bit more money and get shoes that need minimal to no cleaning, cleaning because I don't want to spend a lot of my time scrubbing shoes just to make that extra 10 to $20 because they look cleaner. Right. So, um, but if you're just starting out, Hey, you got the time, you got all the time to be able to put that effort in to get a little bit more profit when it comes to selling shoes. So, um, those Cole Haan, that's just, for example, um, a lot of the brands that I'm finding are Cole Haan. Um, another brand, uh, Kamek, kind of like a, um, a rain winter boot, uh, fleece lined right here, uh, new in box sold for $89 plus $12.95 shipping, really good sale there. And then, like I said, no, no cleaning, you know, these are brand new, um, and that's the best part. Um, Kenneth Cole, uh, kind of slip on boots. No cleaning sold for fifty dollars plus twelve ninety five shipping. That's the thing too is like I'm running out of space and shoes take up a little. Shoes that are 
in the box take up a little bit more space than clothing. So I'm willing to let these go for just middle of the market just to get them moving so I can reinvest those profits back into my next uh, purchase that I plan on doing. So, um, yeah, just keep going through a lot of these uh, really nice Timberland boots that I had been selling. Um, $60 plus $12.95 shipping. Um, yeah, I mean, retail for $109. So I'm happy to get 60 bucks for those. Um, and, and keep in mind, a lot of these shoes were pre-2010, 2005. So adjusted for inflation, I'm sure that these shoes today would retail a lot more. But yeah, hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a beautiful weekend. Um, I'm going to be coming live more often because I want to be able to just show you the raw and real of behind the scenes of the eBay store and what has been selling and kind of what struggles I've been going through because nothing is perfect, especially as a reseller is like, it may look like everything's just going great, but no, it's like things uh, happen that I can't just, you know, put in a, in a regular long form video, but I can go live and tell you that, Hey, you know, things happen. The storage unit now is, um, I'm going to be paying for the storage unit. So that's a cost that I'm going to have to consider. Is it worth wholesaling the rest of the items that are in the storage unit or paying monthly to keep these items that are all that are going to be bringing up my cost of goods? So that's just one issue that I'm going to have to consider um, possibly wholesaling the rest of these items to another local reseller and just moving on because I sell clothes. I don't even sell many shoes. I just sell men's and women's used clothing and that's the lane that i'm looking to stay in i'm not looking to sell golf clubs and and um all these other items that are kind of like good but they're just kind of like a distraction they aren't right so so that's the difference and there's nothing wrong with being an everything seller but i just want to focus on what i know and that is men's and women's used clothing ha taking the time to even look up some of these shoes is um is time consuming when I could be spending that time on listing clothes that I'm already com comfortable and familiar with. So, yeah, um, let's just keep going through more of the shoes that have been selling. Um, these Fry boots sold for a hundred and let's see, the total amount was one hundred and ten dollars with twelve ninety five shipping. Um, you know, just another pair of dress boots. Um, retailed for $169 back in the early 2000s. Um, these did not come with a box. Another pair of Timberland boots sold for $100. Um, these were the Britain Hill wingtip boots. Um, but yeah, some great sales have been coming in with these boots. I've been listing these shoes for the last couple months now, and I'm kind of just getting to the end of the last bit of it. So. Um, which is nice because I'm not really looking to continue on, you know, looking for shoes and boots. Um, I, if it, they are a good flip, I'll pick them up, but I'm not like continuing to look for them, uh, actively. So another pair of fry boots, more of like a cowboy Western type of boot, uh, sold for a hundred dollars plus 1295 shipping. Um, so Actually, these Buffalino boots, probably one of the first pair that I had sold out of those storage units, um, sold for $89 plus $12.95 shipping. Um, so that that was kind of like got me the the uh, got me going was like, oh, I need to get these shoes listed because they are, um, you know, with quarter four coming around. I was really looking to get all of these shoes listed before quarter four. So I knew that come Christmas time, people um, you know, the, this stock was available to people who ever wanted to buy it for a Christmas gift or whatnot. Um, but yeah, let's look at some of the shoes. So some of the shoes, uh, uh, a lot, a couple pairs of these Converse, uh, did a collaboration with John Varvatos. They're kind of like these wingtip sneakers, um, no laces, but, um, yeah, they sold for $60 plus $12.95 shipping. A um, couple of those pairs had sold really well. Um, these diesel fraternity shoes, um, really nice shoes, um, sold 
for $99. Yeah, $99 plus $12.95 shipping. I'm shipping everything out in a either a regional rate A box that I modify, um, which helps save on cost of shipping, or a medium flat rate box. And if it fits in a padded flat rate envelope, uh, then maybe. But most shoes don't fit. Most men's shoes don't fit in the, the padded flat rate. So I've been sticking with the boxes. Um, these have been, you know, found a few of these ASICs, uh, the ASICs on it. Tsuka Tiger Shoes, um, nine and a halfs. Um, been selling them between $70 to $100 new in box. Um, and yeah. So that's the best part of like the, these new shoes, not having to clean. Um, you know, that's the blessing right here. Uh, so Cl Clark Shoes, um, just some casual leather shoes. Uh, $49 retail. What did these sell for? They sold for $69 plus $12.95 shipping. Um, Echo, also another brand um, that we're probably all familiar with. Picking up Echo. Um, I had been picking up Echo all throughout the year. I think it's a great brand that, that sells well on eBay. Um, sold for $40 plus $12.95 shipping. Um, a lot of these shoes, this person had bought this person that had these storage units had bought m majority of their items from Nordstrom Rack, the Ralph Lauren outlet, um, you know, a lot of these malls um, buckle and, um, you know, still with receipts, still with the tags. Um, shoes that had, you know, maybe been worn once. It looked like the person had maybe worn them once and put them back. I'll just list as pre-owned. And then I'll just put in the description like, hey, these were worn, but they're like new. Um, so like, for example, these Puma shoes sold for $39 um, and they had been worn once, you know. So, yeah, it's been awesome. Um, I'm going to continue to keep listing these shoes um, and hopefully, you know, I'll be able to share the experience along the way. I think the most important thing when you're buying shoes that are 10, 20 years old, but still new in the box, it's very important to test them all because you will get people that are going to be wearing them and then they're going to crumble. Um, I had a person in uh, Puerto Rico bought um, some Airwalks and the experience was like, he basically got them in the mail and they were just like, sh like a rat had been chewing on the soles. So it's like that really <laughs> made me pause and go, okay, I need to really be testing these shoes out because I don't want to have my customer experience that. Um, it also just looks bad on me as a reseller. So, um, and that's just with all used shoes, you should be testing them, bending them, making sure that the soles are going to last. Um, a lot of diesel shoes, a lot of airwalk, um, these diesel slip on like loafers, hiking um, shoes, new with box, sold for $30 plus shipping. These airwalks, um, I mean, if these don't scream Y2K, I mean, the, you just don't see shoes like this anymore, you know? Um, a lot of skateboarding brands. So um just shoes that just bring me back to the y2k area era um you just don't see this stuff nowadays um so for a hundred dollars plus 12.95 shipping let's see we have um another converse john varvados sold for a hundred dollars plus 12.95 shipping and then we have like more adidas shoes that had been selling um you know soccer running track shoes um sold for $50 plus nine, uh, plus shipping. Um, and then, yeah, so just taking you through what I had been listing, um, you know, a lot of these Adidas, uh, rod laver, you know, the receipt was in here from 2003. Um, really nice condition shoes you never worn. Um, in 2001, you can see, um, the manufacture date is 11, 2001. And, uh, that's kind of just, you know, what we're, what I'm seeing, um, with all these shoes is just like, they ranged between 2000, like 1999 and 2005. Um, 
So that's a quite a long time to be sitting in a box untouched. You can see like there's some fading right here on the soles um, that had just it never been worn. It comes off. It's like a, a dust, you know, it's a weird film. Um, but yeah, I'm just putting, I'm just putting that clearly in the description, like, Hey, these are like new, never worn, but that since they sat in a storage unit for so long, I'm just making that I'm making it known and disclosing to the customers looking at it, like, Hey, there's some fading here. Don't be surprised. So that way, when they do open a return, they go, Oh man, this, this is when I wasn't expected. I had it in the description and therefore I'm covered with any negative feedback or false um, item not as described. Um, another brand, um, Camper, they're like these uh, casual um, lace-up shoes, but they have like this weird kind of sticky gum on the sole. Um, I tried my best to clean it, but I was just, I would rather just put it in the description and put that, hey, these are, um, these got some, some problems here. So, you know, making that known and disclosing it to all the buyers, um, is huge. So, um, just been listing these iPath shoes. Um, these sell really well. A couple pairs of these, um, new, um, they're kind of like these skateboard boot brand. Um, just don't see those too often anymore. These Merrells, uh, these are ones, you know, I just listed today. Um, just, you know, listing them all on eBay and checking the solds and making sure, you know, I'm not pricing too high or, um, you know, too low. Uh, it is taking me some time to figure out what is an ideal price because these shoes, most of the shoes are discontinued and they're hard to figure out, okay, well, what is the market willing to pay me for these shoes? Because, um, since they're discontinued, since the shoes are discontinued, it's going to be a little, take a little longer to look up comps and find that ideal price, what I want to get for them. So, um, you know, for me, I'm just, I'm not looking to, you know, price at the top of the market because I don't have a lot of space and because I don't have a lot of space, I just need to be able to take the money and run. You know, I'm, I'm basically looking to save up for this next bulk purchase that comes up. Um, I guess, for example, these, these shoes were really interesting. They, they look good. They look great. Right. Um, these, these Pumas, they look great, but then see that they have this like gum stickiness to them and it comes off but i just don't want to spend time scrubbing that off so i would rather just list it as pre-owned and put that in the listing and make sure that hey the buyer check this out because it's got some weird stick I, I think i just put weird sticky stuff on the outside of insole i put Sat in storage for 20 years, never worn, but have sick, sticky substance on soles. So we'll see how they do. Um, but yeah, uh, I hope you guys are doing well. Um, sales have been really good. Um, you know, they were great before I found the storage unit, but they have been, um, you know, unreal since, since I found that. It's been life-changing. Like, for example, this Versace beanie uh, I listed for $80 uh, plus shipping. Someone just sent me a $50 offer. I'm taking that and I'm getting out of here because um, I have so many hats that are in this storage unit. Uh, Kango hats, um, Quicksilver hats, um, Patagonia beanies, um, a lot of wool beanies that are unbranded, a lot of scarves that are unbranded, but they're wool. You know, so finding the right keywords um, is, is going to be, um, really important for me to sell the items that aren't, br um, branded. Um, but they do sell, I have been selling some of the unbranded stuff. You just got to really do your keyword research and make sure, um, that, that buyers are able to find those items. So yes, yeah, sales have been going great. I hope sales have been going good with you. Um, you know, you can reach out to me anytime. And if you want to take your uh, eBay store to the next level, you can check out the link in the description where I offer a Monday through Friday 
coaching program. We meet from five to six. And for a little over a dollar a day, I work with you implementing a system that you could put in place so you can have consistent sales. And so you can find consistent product and you can take your eBay store to the next level, whether you're just wanting to do it part time or you're wanting to go from a full time job to full time eBay. I am here to help you. And that is my main mission with this channel is to bring value and help people because I was there before. I was there working in customer service for 15 years, but I knew that I was born for more. And just like you, you were born for more. And eBay is a fantastic way to be able to multiply money. And I have yet to find something better than eBay to to be able to multiply money this quickly, you know, to be able to buy something for a dollar and sell it for 20, you know, that is a, a that is a gift right now. We are in um, the golden era of e-commerce. So if you're not, if you're wondering or thinking about getting started and you don't know where to start, hey, reach out to me. Check out the link in the description below and I will, he I am here to help you. I'm here to serve you. And, um, you know, I just, I want to jump on live more because I want to be able to, you know, answer questions that you may have that you might not be able to ask on another video. You know, I'm here to engage with you and um, really just provide service of what I've gone through. And and by no means is this is perfect, easy money. You know, it is it is a struggle, but with the right principles in place, you can be successful. There is the right way to do eBay, do eBay in a correct way. And once you find that out, you're able to save time, grow faster and more sustainably. Um, and not second guess what you're doing. You will know confidently, this is what eBay likes and this is what I'm going to do. So I'm here to help you guys. Um, you know, if you're catching this on the replay, um, smash the like, feel free to subscribe as I am producing content on a daily basis. I love y'all and I hope you have a blessed rest of the day. Take care.